Welcome to CEO Insights. I'm Marilyn De Guzman with InvestingNews.com. I'm speaking with Trumbull Fisher, CEO of Anteros Metals. Hi, Trumbull. Hi. Thank you very much for uh, for having me on. We are very excited to speak to yourself and relay our information to your uh, viewers. Great. So let's get on with it. Then we'll uh, start with an overview of your company. What are the key things you want investors to know about uh, Anteros Metals? Right. Well, Enteros is a relatively new uh, public company. We are, uh, of course, a mining exploration company. We are solely focused on, in Newfoundland. We have four different assets, uh, everything from grassroots to more advanced projects. But the whole idea with uh, with Enteros is there's an element of diversification with this story as it relates not only to our assets, but also to, uh, to the board and management. We really bring all pillars of exploration and capital markets experience to the company, which in turn, uh, we expect to create more shareholder value with. This is probably a good time to discuss your properties. Um, you've mentioned you you have projects in Newfoundland. What makes them compelling assets? Well, Newfoundland as a whole, I'm sure many of your viewers are aware, it's a uh, tremendous place to do business. It is a very mining Pro jurisdiction. It is uh, classified as one of the top ten mining jurisdictions in the world. There is an element to uh, to ease of business, uh, being able to get government grants. There's a uh, tremendously experienced workforce in Newfoundland in the mining sector, um, and then as a whole, we have a lot of experience in Newfoundland with a lot of our founders, board members, etc., being uh, being located there. Wait, right. um, maybe also I think with with new companies. Investors are always interested in knowing who the people are behind uh, that's driving the company. Can you talk about uh, some of the highlights of, of the, the management team um, that's running the company? Absolutely. So, uh, so of course, there's myself. I have uh, approximately 20 years of capital markets experience, uh, experience running sales and trading institutional uh, desks at investment banks. I have experience as co-founding a hedge fund. And then I have experience running uh, multiple public and private companies, either as an advisor, chairman, CEO, et cetera. Um, now, I am joined by several other people that are very capable. Alan Rutenberg is our CFO with many, many years of public experience in the, uh, in the mining sector as a CFO. And uh, probably one of the most instrumental people in the company is... Uh, Bill Kennedy, who is one of the founders of the company. He is a board member, so he is providing corporate governments overview. Um, but he was instrumental in putting the company together, gathering these assets. Um, and he has tremendous relationships in and around Newfoundland because he is located there and has been in the space for uh, such a long time. And we, of course, have uh, some other big names in, uh, on the board, including uh, Wesley Keats, Many of you might know the Keats uh, last name in Newfoundland is quite known, well known as uh, several generations of prospectors. So what this company really brings is a combination of capital markets experience, as well as prospecting and mining experience uh, with boots on the ground in Newfoundland. Talk about why, um, you know, why you chose Newfoundland, you know, I guess, you know, based on your, the, the composition of your leadership team, they have a big experience in Newfoundland, but why, why Newfoundland? Why explore there? Yeah, that, that's a great question. And I think it, uh, I think it starts with, uh, what's in your backyard. If what's in your backyard is, is, is great. Why do you have to go further than your backyard? And Newfoundland really is in our backyard. One, I'm located in Toronto, but a lot of our team is in Newfoundland. So why go further? We know the asset. Um, we know how the government works. We know how the permitting process works. We know how all these government grants work. Um, so that adds to why Newfoundland, but first and foremost, it's because it's such a tremendous place to do business that we were able to get assets um reasonably uh by staking them put them into the company and we're able to have several different assets with multiple different uh critical metals precious metals you know that diversification coming back into it right in our backyard and not having to go too far and having this diversification going all around the world it's simply just in our backyard and I think one of the more interesting aspects of your company is you're incorporating data science into your exploration strategy. So you're not just mining, you're mining data as well. Uh, could you maybe elaborate on this? Like, how are you, use, how are you integrating, um, uh, data into your exploration strategy? 
Absolutely. So I, I, as we all know, the world is changing every day and, uh, and it's, it's going way, t- way more towards the technology aspect. Uh, AI is becoming integrated into everybody's lives. So I think it only makes sense that it's integrated into the mining sector as well. And uh, what we do is we use AI to look at previous data uh, to determine where the next best targets are. What this allows, it sort of has a pre, uh, three-pronged approach, is it saves time, it saves money, and it's actually more accurate than somebody doing it themselves. So we found tremendous benefit with implementing AI into analyzing past data um, and figuring out where to go next to create uh, shareholder value with the, uh, the, the, the biggest upside. So what are some of the upcoming catalysts that uh, investors should be looking forward to from the company? So we've just released a, released a uh, 3D model on, uh, in, on one of our projects. Uh, that is highly interesting. We are, uh, we are analyzing now where to go for, uh, for drill targets. As, uh, as spring approaches here quite rapidly and going into the summer, I think that uh, the catalyst that people can expect to see is a drill program announced and uh and then further results from those uh those drilling projects um again we're analyzing the data of exactly where to go we think we have a very good idea but we want to be ex- very precise and uh in pinpoint to create that shareholder value so that's really the the closest news i think in the uh, the medium to longer term some of our other projects as these different commodities heat up and uh perhaps there's interest we haven't had discussions yet, but there could be conversations to have whether there's option agreements, JVs happening on uh, on some of our others. But those are longer term. The immediate term is a drill program announced with uh, that drilling started. Great. Well, looking forward to hear more news from the company. Thanks again, Trumbull, for taking the time to speak with me today. Wonderful. Thank you very much for having me on. And uh, yes, best of luck. Thank you. And thanks, everyone, for watching. Join us again next time for another edition of CEO Insights.